Okay, uh, this is a video um, that's going to be a short tutorial on resizing an image. If we have a publication, something like this, and we want to put an image in here, um, and we want that image to be a specific size. We don't want to randomly allow it to have to shrink it and throw pixels away. We want to do that in an intelligent way. We also want to make sure that the resolution that the printer is capable of is what we give them. So we don't want to give them more resolution than they can handle, and we don't want to give them less resolution that's optimum. When I say resolution, I'm talking about the number of pixels per inch. And I'm going to go into my bridge, and in my bridge I have an image that I've previously selected that I want to use. And so I'm going to open this image, and I've already made a, this image black and white, and I want to uh, explore, so, so let's just explore for a minute what this looks like. If we go to View and we take Actual Pixels, you'll see that this is a very big image. Um, in fact, um, and then if we look at Print Size, you'll see that it has a smaller uh, size that it shows on the screen. Uh, it's important to understand that your pixels, how big it looks on your screen, isn't necessarily how big it's going to look printed. Um, how big is this image? If we come over here to Image and we take Image Size, you'll see uh, these three portions of this dialog, this top part, tell us the pixel dimensions. So these add up to 57.4 million pixels. This document size, 16 inches wide versus 10 inches high at a resolution of 240. And then we have some controls down here that are important we're going to talk about. If we want to change the resolution that so we match the printer device, in this case the printer device is a 300 dots per inch printer, you'll notice something untoward that's happened. Because we have this option checked, resample image, the pixel dimensions went from 57 million to almost 90 million. It had to drastically increase the number of pixels because if we wanted a 16 width by 10.8 at 300, that's very different than it was for 240. So these things are in, in lockstep. So something had to give and so it had to invent pixels. Instead what I'm going to do is uncheck the resample. And now when I specify 300, instead of changing the pixel dimensions, they stay the same. We've in fact changed the width and the height. Okay, so I'm going to say OK, and we now have made this a 300 dots per inch image. The next thing I'm going to do is go right back into it, and I'm going to now say, but I don't want a 12.9 inch image. I want to print this at about five inches. But again, if I just do that, that's going to change my resolution. You see, it says, well, I can give you five inches with that resolution, but I want a 300 resolution image. So then I have to resample. Now, there are five different modes of resampling, and I'm going to use bicubic sharper, which is best for reductions. And I'm going to come in here and ask for 5 inches and click OK. Now the image has changed. We're looking at an actual, there's actual pixels, and there's print size. So now that's my 5 inch image, and uh, I've accomplished what I want.